right. Right. We're, right. we're just going to go straight into the uh, Davo story, so continue. Straight from the Davo story. But yeah, and so uh, I, was just, I offended her because I didn't read her bio, and I was honest with her. I was just like, I'm not going to sit here and waste my time and energy reading bios. I'll just deal with bios, like I'll deal with the matches after we match. And she was just like, well, that's really rude because you're wasting their time, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, once again, I don't care unless we match. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just going to run it. Oh, I'm going to T-bone their boat. Oh, no, I'm use them for cover. Oh, that's a dead boat. But... I may roll over just in yeah. time. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Try not to run aground tonight. I fucking no promises. Well, I was gonna say I, I didn't run aground, but I ran a boat. Yeah, it was supposed to be in retro Monday, but I wasn't really feeling digging out and getting a Twitch or Switch set up. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, there probably won't be a Tie Tuesday tomorrow because I have to go back into work. I mean, maybe. There might be. Don't know. We'll see. So, I was thinking about doing Tie Tuesday on Monday, and then, like, eh, no. Like I said, I think I've said this, like, every time we play this on the stream. Like, I'm having so much fun playing this game. Boom, bitch. Hey. I got two kills. Uh, I didn't have shit. But I did uh, progress my bureau. So oh shit, I'm number one. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Alright, what's the last one here? Oh, I gotta build up to the Let's emerald. Go. Let's go honk. What do I need to do here? I'm, what's the I'm last white, one? Carl Shrew. Do I have any patrons uh, no, no, no. that I can put in here? No. Bottom of the sea. What do I need for my dailies? John Dailies, where are you at? <laughs> I want to party with him. Another three. I'm blanking on who he actually is. He's the golfer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the golfer yeah. that would, like, tee off a beer. <laughs> They're like, you know, they won't let him play on the PGA because, you know, he, he won't stop drinking enough to play on the tour. <laughs> He's like, this is what golf is about. Why do I want to be straight for this? Like, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, he's not wrong. No! Because it was invented, he was invented, it was invented by the Scottish, who are well known for drinking. Yeah, like, oh, I love it. Oh shit! I unlocked a uh, a French uh, French person. <laughs> that sounds almost racist. Commander, <laughs> French commander. All right, I need to do almost some more racist. damage. I have yet to get almost the fucking. Almost John is fine as a guy. That's true. Renown. How are we doing? Got to earn a bunch more XP. We can do that. Watch your XP, gross. Yeah, yeah. There's that. I've I've, I've waited so long to say that. Ugh. Oh. So how you been, Davo? Did you have a good weekend? I did. I. Uh, what was it? Saturday. Um, I did a fuck ton of mowing. <laughs> I felt that. I was on the mow. I was on the mower for like four to five hours straight. But, uh, oh, she died. Who died? So have you been following the, the convict that escaped from the Alabama prison? No. No. All right. So apparently one of the, one of the corrections officers was, a, is a female and she and him decided that they were, she was going to help him escape. Like, I don't know all the details, but if I'm wrong on the, you know, the, the specifics, you know, forgive me. Um, I'm just going to just bum rush to see, but, um, 
but anyway, like she'd been obviously she had been preparing it for weeks, maybe months before the, she helped him escape because right. she sold her house at like 50% market value just to sell it and like took all their money and she, and helped him escape and fled. And they've been on the run for like 10 or 11 days. And uh, they found his, they found her car in Tennessee, but it had been in like a towing lot for like a week. So it was like, it's okay. it's been like, it got towed like right after they left Alabama and all this. Well, apparently today they were spotted in Indiana and it led to a car, cra- a car chase where it ended in a crash. And CNN is reporting that Vicki White, the former corrections officer who was on the run with inmate Casey White, has died from her injuries. So whatever happened, she died. Damn. But yeah, he, it was like a Bonnie and Clyde type story from just kind of the impression that I get. So. Interesting. Yeah, it was pretty. I've been kind of like very loosely following it because, you know, number one, you don't hear those stories very often. No, 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 no. And then, you know, number two... You know, how good of a how good of like a smooth talker do you have to be to not only convince a CEO to help you, but to convince a CEO to be like, "Yo, sell all your stuff and help me like go on the lamb." Like, that's like, pretty impressive. That's like, I mean, they're out from Alabama, right? Yeah. The, like that's straight up white trash Joker. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. For some reason, I can feel like Joker fans just be like, Burr. <laughs> but I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> right. But uh, that's insane. So, yeah. Now and then, yesterday for Mother's Day, uh, I cooked my mom dinner. So. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. We, uh, I took uh, Heather and my mom out. And we went to, uh, it's kind of like a, it's a local, it's a local restaurant called McAdoo's. They do a lot of like sandwiches oh, and. Yeah, no, I've heard, yeah, no, I've heard of McAdoo's. Okay. Um. It's, it's a chain. Yeah. But we did that for, it's um. like, uh, uh-oh. Elm Street. Yeah, very similar. Oh, I ate both of those. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to sink. Ooh, got a citadel out of it. But yeah, I mean, so I took them out and we we had we had dinner and it was a lot of fun. It was me and Kylie and Heather and Izzy and my mom. Um, my stepdad had to leave for work. He works for a hotel chain, and he had to drive to somewhere. Then he had to be like on site at eight o'clock Monday morning, so he had to leave gotcha. Sunday to to be there, and. Um, so he didn't get to go with us. So it was it was a lot of fun. We we had we had fun and and uh, it was a good Mother's Day. So and then when after I you know I bought everybody's dinner and then um, they do a they call it a Madison mud pie. It is <laughs> yeah, it is uh, chocolate ice cream on the bottom and then a bar of uh, fudge and then a chocolate chip cookie. And then a um, chocolate brownie with ice cream in between, and covered in whipped cream and uh, chocolate syrup. So I ordered like, and it's huge. I mean, it comes in a big like schooner glass, and uh, oh, yeah. and so we just like I ordered that and a bunch of a bunch of spoons, and we just literally like I'll take a spoon and just we just went to fucking. It town. took a bite, passed it to the left. Took a bite, passed it to the left. <laughs> so it was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, that Iron Duke is screwed. Um, but yeah, it was a good Mother's Day. We all had a good, we all had a good time. Good. But fucking dive bombers trying to hit me, bitch. And then, uh, like I said today, he didn't do too much at work today, and uh, loaded up and brought home uh, my new to me lawnmower. Uh, my dad upgraded to a zero degree and gave me his old snapper. So, <laughs> it's a snapper, man. You can't beat him. 
You know, they're just they're just good uh, mowers. You know, a good snapper will take a good beating. Oh, absolutely, yeah, all day, every day. And uh, so, uh, really pounding in those those, those blades of grass. Yeah. You know? So I so I came home and unloaded it and loaded up a bunch of trash and stuff that I had laying around the back porch that I needed to take off and uh and got her unloaded and it took me oh it took me almost two hours to mow but that was also because I mowed like I triple and quadruple mowed, mowed certain areas to kind of because where I would let the grass grow. I've only mowed it twice this this year so far so I was starting to lose the dog when I would let her out to go pee <laughs> so I was like maybe I need to mow and, uh, yeah, so that would happen with the, when I lived at my, the last house I lived at in Lawrence, uh, like, the backyard was, like, when it rained, Jesus Christ, like, it would just jungle book, just, yep, yeah, that's the way, there's a couple of spots in my yard that's like that, is, you know, we get, like, one day of rain, and then, like, the very next day, the sun is out, and the day after that, I've lost the dog. Well, we had like four days of rain in a row, mm. and uh, what the fuck is this carrier at? Anyway, we had like four days of rain in a row, and then finally, like a somewhat like it started out cloudy, got sunny, then cloudy, and so I was waiting for like a potential fifth day of rain, mm. but then it didn't rain. Then Saturday was just. We have a, in the town I live in, it's called Cherry Vale, with an A. Uh, but anyway, we have, like, the yearly festival called Cherry Blossom Festival. Because mm-hmm. we used to have, like, a fuck, we used to have a shit ton of cherry trees. Oh, like, there's a, about to be a broadside here. Oh, and, uh, and our guy fucked up. Of course he did. And oh, so, and then he missed. Oh. You were only hope. So, uh, so we had our Cherry Blossom Festival, and uh, so perfect day for that. Sunny, like 70 degrees. Oh, nice. And so, yeah, I was like, well, what a perfect day to mow. So I did that for four or five hours, and then helped my, my mom was running a booth at the festival for the museum, and so I went and helped, helped clean it up afterwards and whatnot. And so, but yeah, uh it was also graduation day as well. Mm, so. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Radford graduates, or graduated this weekend, and I think Virginia Tech graduates next weekend, or this coming weekend. So, Are Kylie and Riley juniors or seniors? Seniors. Uh, they'll be... The, so, oh, so they're graduating. Yeah, they're graduating. They graduate in two weeks. And you'll be getting an announcement as soon as I mail them out tomorrow. Hey! Oh, is that what, is that what the... Yep, yep. I'm going to send you a graduation Very announcement nice. for Kylie. So, when is the graduation? The 21st. So two two weekends from now. Which is gotcha. which is kind of I mean which is awesome, but it also kind of sucks because that is mine and Heather's uh, wedding anniversary. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but like you know, their gradu- high school graduation. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not upset about it. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. The the only thing, and it's and it's minor. Like I'm not like you know bitter or anything about it. What what just sucks is um. Uh, that's because I don't know when it is, uh, Keith. <laughs> I don't know what time. Well, that's just the announcement, and um, I can't. It, it once I get. John, are you watching? Uh, I can. Um, um, once I get the, the online URL for like, they're going to stream it online because, um, Ky- uh, Kylie only gets Probably just a, a handful of tickets to the, um, to the actual, oh, yeah, to the actual thing. Cause she only gets like six tickets. So it's, uh, me, me, Heather, Izzy, dad. And two of her, like her lieutenant and her captain from rescue, and that's all she gets that can go. And then there's, to my understanding, they're streaming it online, but 
I don't know. I'm just, you know, I just, I'm just there. But, um, it's a whole, oh, nice. I mean, I fired all shots, but it was only one Citadel hit that killed it. Nice. Where's the other battleship? Um, I don't know. I would guess C. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yep. Heading into C from the northeast. Um, oh, I see. But, um, yeah, I honestly don't know what time it is. I'm just going to be where I, I'm just going to be wherever I need to be when I'm told to be there. Right. Well, that's like my college graduation. It was under, what do you call it? It was still under COVID protocol. Mm -hmm. But, because well, what they did is obviously there wasn't a graduation in 2020. Right. Uh, and then in winter of 2020, they did a makeup graduation ceremony for everybody. So it was this huge thing. Right. But what, what they did was a conga line, and you had you could have four family members. And it didn't matter the fucking age of the family members. You could only have four guests with you. Yeah. Because, like, one person had, like, uh, they're like, well, my sister just had a baby. <laughs> well, so that's like, nope, two. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. They're like, well, fuck that baby because, you know. That's two. Uh, Yep. And they were just like, well, that's stupid. And so then when I, like, in spring, they did the same thing. Spring 2021. And I graduated in December of last year, so 2021. Um, they upgraded it to six people and, like, minimum seating. Mm, yeah. And, and so what they did is, like, you still conga lined in, but, like, your family, like, if you had extra people, they could come in and sit, um, and then once you obviously walked across the stage, it was obviously like, hey, you know, get the fuck out. Yeah. Well, I like, I like the way, I like the way Tech does their, uh, graduation. Um, like, they, they graduate based on, uh, the majors and the departments. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And... Like, it's really, like, graduation, I think, starts on Thursday. And, like, and they just... See, ours is only two days. Yeah, I think... And it's main campus and tech campus. Yeah. And I just was just, like... And then they um they all graduated the, on the football field there, there at Tech. So, you know, they have seating for 60, 63,000. Right. And then, so there's never an issue for, you know, for seating and whatnot there. All right. Well, and see, like... You know, it's a little different here in the Great Plains than it is for you guys. Right. Because literally, like, we can, so during, like, this time of year, like, graduation season, mm -hmm. we can literally have a perfectly sunny day and within 10 minutes have a, uh, to uh literally tornadoes, uh, tornado style, uh, storm come in. Well... To be fair, and I hate to say this, Virginia is becoming very similar to that. And, yeah. um, so I kind of oh. need to run a tier one, <laughs> if it's okay. Oh, you fuck, fuck. I mean, if not, I could do it on my own time. That's fine. Because no, I need to build up to a, uh, what do I need? The, I need the emerald. <laughs> Yeah, I need I need to build up to a tier four. Because <laughs> I need the emerald to put in for my um uh, uh, I, yeah, can... yeah, I need I need to unlock a uh, ship to go in my bureau. Uh, uh, weekly boost. Actually I tell you what, I mean I, I take that back. Um what do you need to work on? And I'll 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 uh, match I'll... up with you. And then we I'm then we'll because literally it like Daily boost, destroy one more ship. Uh, weekly boost, cause damage. Like, and then... Okay. I haven't done the ship tiers 101. Yeah, that's a, um... That's a, um... Competitive side. Uh, okay. Now, you and do get a... Premium. You get a crap ton of XP and bonuses and shit for doing 
um, competitive side, I just don't have as much fun. Yeah. So, but yeah, like I said, if if uh, if, if you want, I'll do my tier one and work my way up. If or unless there's something you need that, to work I on. Mean, no, I don't care. Okay. Uh, I can use the the wick, the wicks, whatever it is, because sure, because you know I might get more destroyers in the future. Who knows? I don't know. Come on. I'm. Ready. I mean, in real reality, I I should. I should only use uh, Japanese destroyers. Mm hmm Is that... Because the, no, because the ships fucking Tokyo drift all over the place. <laughs> um, well, I was just going to do nothing but German and Russian ships, and then I started doing the Bureau stuff, and it makes you, like, play other nationalities. and it makes you branch out. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay, if I gotta... Okay, I guess. Let's give them a hard time. Wait a minute, how are we... How did, Who has a... Battleship? Or, I mean, a... Um, aircraft carrier at Tier 1? Is there a Tier 1 or 2 aircraft carrier? Wait, what? Yeah, there's aircraft carriers in this. The Hosho... What the fuck? Okay, cool. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's a tier three. But how? I'm a tier one. I saw him. Uh, never mind. I'm a tier two. Uh, maybe my guess is because maybe uh, maybe there wasn't enough people to fill it in. Yeah, maybe they were just like, eh, fuck it. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah like, I don't care. It. Yeah, don't care. Yeah. Yeah, but I was about to say, like, holy shit, there's a tier one aircraft here? Let's go fucking find that. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's got fucking the Wright Brothers plane. Yeah, it's got the guy that's got the little... He's got the uh, bicycle pedals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's bicycle pedals and C4. It's what you get. <laughs> yeah, it's what you get. I was going to get in your smoke, but I'm getting cut off here. Oh, I immediately got hit by a fucking wall. Bro, like, why are you in my way? Like, that's so not cool. No offense, but I'm going to go after that fucking carrier after that fucking insult. Go for it. Like, if I can survive it. Fuck him, do it. Flying some fucking torpedoes, my guy. Oh, oh, go faster. Oh, I'm faster than your torpedoes. Suck it, pussy fart. <laughs> you can take six on for that one. Oh, he has hey. torpedoes at this level. Oh, I just missed him. That's not fair. I think all the no, well, no, that's not true because I had a cruiser that didn't have torpedoes. Did I? I don't think I did. I just ate both those torpedoes. Uh, I'm a level one. What are you bastards doing to me? This isn't fair. And I'm gonna fuck up this girl yeah, through though. Like, fuck off, bud. I'm faster. Oh, look. There's land. <laughs> what Keith specifically warned me not to do. I'm good. Crisis averted. I almost got bumped again. Where's your fucking boat at? I'm gonna fucking nuke it. The AI oh, I'm done. I'm done. My ship is on fire. I'm dead. Damn it. 
How am I supposed to level up with that bullshit going on? Fucking tier three shooting at a tier one. I mean, you just need to win, don't you? Yeah, I just need to. I mean, well, I mean, I get bonuses for more damage and shit. Well, that's true. And I'm not wasting my banners and shit. If I'm if I do competitive, then I'll waste my banners. Yeah, so I haven't. I've turned pretty much all my banners off. Oh come on! All right, so. Uh, authorities say a, a former Alabama jail offic official has died, and the murder suspect she is accused of helping escape from custody has been apprehended in Indiana after more than a week on the run. This cruiser is chasing the fuck out of me. I took out your buddy. You want to die too, asshole? <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Uh, National Weather Service in Blacksburg has now confirm confirmed two tornadoes that occurred within our forecasting area Friday evening, May the 6th. An EF-1 tornado confirmed in Rockingham County, North Carolina, and a brief EF-0 tornado that was conform confirmed in Rockbridge County, Virginia. Uh, Rockbridge is northeast of us and the other tornado is southwest of us yeah so we had two tornadoes on friday and i'm not surprised because it was shitty weather dude we had um uh the no that's dude you, you gotta remember clouds move west to east yeah so whatever shit you got from us or whatever shit you got came through us first oh absolutely yeah, yeah. Well, fully aware of what you guys fucking well um the there's a count uh, two counties over from here he where Heather used to work when she was a hotel manager. Um, they uh, they got a foot of hail, like a foot of hail. A foot of hail. Hang on, I will send you the video, the picture. I uh, know Rock Bridge, not Rock Ridge. <laughs> I see what you did there. Hang on, let me. Let me send you the pictures. Yeah, it was literally one foot of hail. Uh, yeah, it was right. fucking wild. I've never seen this. Like, we get hail, but never that much. Jesus. Here you go. I will forward it to you. There you go. That was literally uh, piles of hail a foot thick in downtown uh, Woodville. I got my torpedoes off, so hopefully they hit. Oh, I'm dead, so. Mm, let's see. Are they good? Mm, oh, they might be good. Oh, they all might be good. Well, at least Not all of three or four are good. Enough or good. Let's put it like that. Oh no, they they timed out. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh rip. Yeah, check out that picture I sent you. Jesus. Yeah. Like I said, and this is in Virginia where we don't get that shit until recently. Yeah. Like you know. But hey, you know you know what you know what. Huh? Global warming. Uh, Tornado Alley keeps moving further and further to the east. We had you know we had a um, a funnel cloud pass over my house last year. That was fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, so, what state? And I'll, I'll leave this to the group chat. Uh, in, in the chat. Okay. What state do you think gets the most? Tornadoes in the United States. I have, and you, and you can guess too. Yeah, I have my guess. Um, 
My my first this, this this number might have changed, but I know like a couple years ago this was number one. Um, I have seen. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've seen six tornadoes in my lifetime, and that is six too many. I've never actually seen a full tornado. Um, like, I live in dead center of Tornado Alley, and I've never seen one. Really? Yeah. Let's see, when I was in Minnesota, we had one come through. Um, it crossed through our parking lot and fucked up our rental car. Um, and then, uh, the, the rest of them were here in Virginia. And now, granted, you know, they're not, you know, they're not, like, ma yeah, they're very uncommon here. Or at least they're, be they're becoming more and more common now. Like, there's usually two or three a year yeah. in my region, where before that, it was one every five or six years uh my first tornado that i saw i was in the sixth grade and that was in the town where i grew up and then well that that's yeah i saw that one and then there's been a couple of these this these previous few years but i mean they've gotten more and more common here in this area which is just I mean, we live in an incredibly mountainous area, and the idea that there's tornadoes here in this area is just, it's mind-boggling. Wait, did you say homeless? No, in my in my region here. I, I, I heard, like, I live in a very homeless Oh, no, a very mountainous, very, very mountainous region. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, the, the idea of tornadoes is just, it's mind-boggling. You know, it's just, you know, the tornado literally skips over mountains, you know, and people that live down in like the, the hollers and shit, you know, you know, they'll watch the, the, the tornado like, oh my God, he just barely missed. Um, yeah, you know, all the tornadoes that have come close to where I live, uh, God damn it. Of course. Anyway, uh. All the tornadoes that came close to my hometown were always uh, at night. That's terrifying. Uh, I've seen... Well, I didn't see it. We had one night tornado uh, touch down about three miles from where I live. And Heather and I were out driving. We had to go to, like, Walmart. And right across from... Like, we don't... like. I don't know how common it is in your area to have, like, the actual, like, tornado sirens and shit. Like, that's... They, they don't have a system like that here. So, unless you're within range of the, um... Uh, the, the fire department. Like, you know, and it, it's just yeah. it's just the fire department setting off their, their, their um, horns and stuff. Yeah. If you're not within range of the fire department, you don't hear it. And... Yeah. Heather, well, Heather and I were at Walmart, which the fire department was right across the street from the Walmart. And, like, yeah, it was a pretty shitty night, but I didn't really think anything about it. Like, yeah, it was pouring down rain, and it was just kind of crappy weather. And they started setting off the, the, the alarms at the firehouse. And I'm like, oh, you know, when I worked at the firehouse, it was fairly common for us to test our equipment and stuff. I'm like, oh, they just must be testing our their equipment. And that's literally, like, where it stopped, you know? And so we went to Walmart, did our thing, and we left. And I got by, and we were, like, on our way home, which was, like, three miles from this Walmart. And my mom calls. And she's like, where are you? I'm like, on our way back to the house. She's like, where? I'm like, we're just coming from Radford. And she goes, there's a tornado, and it touched down in Bell Spring, which is a mile, like the next little community over. Like, yeah, there's a tornado in Bell Spring. I'm like, we were literally just there. <laughs> and, yeah. and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, that's what the sirens were for. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> like oh, I'm, we could have died and didn't even know any better. <laughs> 
I'm going to send you an invite, Leaf. Okay. So I'll be in so, That's fine. What is it? Uh, I don't know if you guys, if you remember or even heard of it, but back in 2011, there was the Joplin tornado yes. that hit Missouri. Yeah. Yep. So Joplin is 30 minutes away from Pittsburgh, where I lived at right. and went to, where I went to college. Oh, that's scary. That tornado, that tornado was supposed to hit Pittsburgh. And then at the last minute, just turned right. Um, and I was, when it hit, I was on my honeymoon with my ex, and we were in London, and we were on the, uh, wait, real quick, what level shift do you need to be, Sean? Uh, now I'm up, I, need, I can do a level two now. So, two okay. or three. Wyoming, baby. So, oh, you're doing two or three? Yeah, I'm, I'm, right. I'm leveling up some British ships because I need a, um, uh, I, I'm, I need a uh, four, a tier four ship. Oh, Leafs using then a fucking I'll, great ooh. carrier. Uh, I use my carrier tonight. But yeah, uh, one of the so. one of the women that I used to work with when I worked in the me- medical equipment, she was she's from Joplin, and oh, okay. yeah, she lives here in Virginia. But she had, um, some one of one of her sons lived in Joplin. And they lost everything. Like yeah. it was just complete and total. They had a luckily they had a a, a storm cellar or storm bait, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. the 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 you know physically they were okay, but all they all they had yeah all they had when they came out was a foundation. And so, so like I said, so um, like I I had friends we had friends that were in Joplin. Oh my god. And um, so like I said, I was in London and um, I was in London and I on the so in London uh, newspapers are free. I'm going to go to see. And like they have racks by the terminals uh, so that you can read the newspaper while you're on the the trains or right. the subways. Yeah. So, I'm we're sitting there and we're going into London to go shopping, and I look over at um, this this guy sitting next to me, and I look and I glance, I just saw a Joplin tornado, and I was just like, wait, what? And I looked over at someone else's newspaper, and on the front page, it said Joplin tornado. Oh. And I, and so I turned and looked at. Tap, tap the guy on the shoulder and I was like excuse me where uh, can I see your newspaper we're from uh, we're near from where that tornado hit and he's like are you serious and I was like yeah and so he handed it to me and it was a two front page two page uh, picture oh my of goodness. the destruction and our like everyone on the train was like staring at us as our like, <laughs> we went we went pale. Oh, that's scary. Like we, yeah, we were pale as ghosts. And we went and found, because this was 2011, and you could still, like, go somewhere to, like, to, like, an internet cafe. Right. And and so we found an internet cafe, and we're just, like, messaging people, like, hey, is everyone okay? We're in London, you know, blah, blah, blah. And everyone were like, yeah, no. I do not our say blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, and so we came like I when we came back like it wasn't for like a month that we went to Joplin and mm. I drove there for like a job interview and it was just terrifying to see it and like the worst part was a guy in my brother's graduating class uh, there was one famous story that happened from it and unfortunately it was uh, mm. He called his wife, saying, "Me and the kids are getting into Home Depot. Uh, we'll be in there when the, or we should be in the shelter, right as the tornado hit the Home Depot and all of the walls collapsed." Oh my God! And they, and they found him under the rubble holding his two children. Oh my God! Fuck yeah, that! So she, 
So she lost literally her entire family in the span of 15 seconds. Oh, I might run into him. I might run into him. No, I'm not. I believe. T-bone him. T-bone his ass. I'll get my guns ready. Oh, good. Crisis averted. He's on you guys now. Okay. And so, uh, what else? And then there was a... Uh, oh. barbecue. Oh, I'm going to take these torpedoes. I might take one. I took one. So, there was this small little barbecue place here. They're in Pittsburgh. And... What was it? We went there for lunch, like several, like a couple months later, and I had noticed that this girl, who was the daughter of the owner, had been there. Oh, I got fucked. They had a, welcome, <laughs> they had a welcoming back party for her, and uh, they had a welcome back party for her, and she has like this little IV cart that she's carrying around with her, and apparently she was on the main drag when the tornado hit. And a two by four went through her windshield and impaled her to her car seat. Oh, Jesus. And she survived. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, I yeah, I knew people who were in it and who were injured by it. Mm. And unfortunately, like, I didn't know, like, I knew where he lived growing up, but I didn't know him. My brother knew him very well. Gotcha. But yeah, he, he passed away. And, like, um. He lived in Joplin. They did the funeral in Joplin, but they buried him in Cherryville, which is like an hour and a half drive. Well, um, the uh, who are the fucking shitty church people from Kansas? I Westboro. Know, Westboro. The Westboro, Westboro Baptist went to fucking uh, uh, picket his wedding or his uh, his funeral, and the Freedom Damn. motorcycle dr yep. riders, yeah, uh, yeah, the Patriot riders. Yeah, the Patriot Riders stopped them at a gas station in, uh, in south of Pittsburgh. I they was cornered them. I was briefly a member of the Patriot Riders and um, got to counter protest when they came to um, Virginia Tech after the Virginia Tech shootings. Uh, and I mean, yeah. and since then, um, I have sent them numerous bags of gummy dildos. <laughs> so fuck them. <laughs> oh yeah, now my favorite are like there's videos of like uh people getting naked on the the lawn and like masturbating. Good, fuck them. Like yeah, I have no like, love for those motherfuckers. Like And then like people people like because you know no one wants to live near the Westboro Baptist Church. This huge like following of gay people started buying all of these houses near the church and started uh, ever putting signs up saying everyone in this neighborhood loves gay people and just putting <laughs> rainbow flags everywhere. Good. So good. Good. Like, yeah, no, yeah. fuck them. Fuck no, them like, so hard. Like, that's honestly the only thing about Kansas that I, like, absolutely truly hate. Like, granted, like, there's other small superficial things yeah but yeah like that's one yeah that's fuck them one. yeah fuck like them course, all kinds yeah. of hard yeah my favorite is having like on jerry springer like i was a former westboro baptist church member and there we go like, I got a little bit of that one having people like they're like i was a former this person okay cool we're gonna you're, we're gonna have you meet people your uh, church protested. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, fuck them. Um, I mean, I feel bad for those that like have gotten out and realized like how bad it was and and whatnot. But you know, I've I just he's done. Bye bye. Yeah. But yeah, that's. Mm, don't get me started. Fuck. I mean, it's like, don't get me started on religion in general, but like, <laughs> you know, right. you know, that, that we've had that. Company. Yeah. So now, you know, we're going to go even further and be like, do we really want to go down this road? Um, well, say I had a, what is it? A friend in high school, his brother served, um, he was a pilot, 
like he did Chinooks and stuff like that for in the military. And when Westboro was like huge, like really big, and like, yeah, everyone really knew about him. Mm -hmm. Um, he was just like, if something happened, like he told me, my brother, like he told a bunch of us, he's like, if something ever happens to me, I want you at my funeral guarding it with a shotgun. With yeah. Shotguns. Yeah. I mean, granted now, you know, you've succeeded in life when you're protested by Westboro. Yeah. It's like right. you, you've succeeded, but yeah, they, they, um, they showed up at, uh, the Virginia and tech memorial. No, well, it's it's all it's all for publicity. That's it. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, that there's no there's no you know you know God didn't choose for you know the the Virginia Tech shooter to you know kill those none of that like fuck all that like that's that's they're there because they want to stay relevant and they want to stay in you know pop culture and you know fuck them. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, just like the uh, ones about the military and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, they do the same thing, you know. They deserve to die because they're killing Iraqis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the 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 army kills babies and shit like that. Yeah, like it, you know, it, it's just so they can stay relevant, like you know. Yep. So. No, that was only during Nam. Yeah. Select uh <laughs> yeah, select <laughs> select a ship. Uh, select a tier three ship. <laughs> you, I thought you. No, I, I need like three more games before I can go up to a tier three. Okay. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll even I'll even go a step further, and I will boot. No. I'll add some boosts. Uh, ship XP boosters. Uh, I don't need any see of that. Th see chat. This is when this is when we should call John a bitch ass honky. Uh, always. <laughs> um, that's fine. Fucking whitey. Um. Yeah, just, just, yeah, but just, just fuck Westboro in general. All right. Well, and like, what was it? There was a moment where, like, I know I've talked to you about this particular girl, John, so we're not going to dig up that portion of it. Mm hmm But her, her parents were, like, super religious and super, like, um, how do I say it? Controlling? Hmm. Manipulative? Like just for Yeah. Well it was more like if she went to go hang out with somebody, her dad Let's go to C. Needed... Actually no, let's go to A. Let's know... go to A. It's easier. Her dad needed to know the address of where she was hanging out, just in case he needed to stop by. How old was she? Twenty six. Oh yeah, fuck that noise. Yeah. Sixteen, no. yes. Twenty six, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like when she told me that, I was like, "How old are you again?" And she's like, "26." And I was like, "Bitch, <laughs> bitch!" Like, you know how many times I got grounded for breaking curfew at 16? Like, and I was raised by conservative Catholics. Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> but, but no. And so, like, at first, like when we first started talking or whatever. Uh, I was like, is she part of Westboro Baptist Church? And, <laughs> yeah. and like, I, I asked her. I, like, I eventually asked her because she's like the topic kind of segued to religion. And I was just like, so, uh, and she, and because Westboro's in Topeka and that's where she was from. Yep. And I was just like, so, uh, what's the name of the church you go to? <laughs> How do you feel about fanatical Baptists? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so I was kind of excited to be like, ooh, she's like from Westboro. Like, this would be a great story. <laughs> yeah, it actually kind of would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you bitch, you turned. Uh, it's not going to go torpedoes on you on that one. I think it's torpedoes in the water. 
That fucking destroyer needs to go. I don't know how far those torpedoes go. Uh, are they airplane torpedoes? Yeah. Oh, it did Not impact. Hey, all right. I was gonna say, they don't go far, but they're pretty good sometimes. I just help destroy something. So that's all I. Like. Citadels, you're done. Thanks for playing, though, big guy. All right, A is clear. All right, turning to B. There's a St. Louis and an Orion next Wait, on the docket. Went to a? Yeah, I went to A. You said C. Uh, JK. <laughs> God damn it! you slow as fuck, asshole. You'll be alright. <laughs> You got this. Oh, if I can, if I can clear off, destroyer. yeah. If I can clear off my my side, you can clear your side. I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, leave. Just go help him. I'm trying. I'm launching a new set. Thank you. Don't need it. See, look at you over there doing work. What are you worried about? <laughs> Six torpedoes. Oh, I dodged them all. Fuck you, I'm slow as shit. <laughs> <laughs> None of them hit. Don't think yet. All right, let's get this thing close here. I'm seeing a destroyer. Yeah, destroyer's going the opposite direction. Does it mean a cruiser? Yeah, look at you over there doing the Lord's work. You're all right. Well, I would say I'm sniping kills when everyone's dead over here. Oh, no. There's a lone Clemson with me. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Daddy's here with a six gun. Ooh. There's that enemy destroyer. Don't worry, enemy destroyer. I've got my six gun. Do one test shot. Leaf, there is a very weak St. Louis heading towards you. No, I'm sorry, Davo. Davo, there's a very weak St. Louis heading towards you, behind you. I can't do much with... Oh, I might be able to finish him off. Uh oh. Hang on. Let me, uh, let's see if I can get him. Yeah, no. Oh. No, no, somebody else did. Seconds, but... uh, oh, no, those torpedoes so missed. That's right. Mean, someone, someone's gonna kill him. Yeah, he's weak. Yeah, I, like, hit him with I might three seconds. Torpedoes. And that Orion is, like, really concentrating on me. Oh She's about to give me a broadside. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, that fucking dirt D is so close to death. Alright, I... No, never mind. That, there's two cruisers going after that oh, cool. I'm gonna hit an aircraft carrier, so... Oh no, the squadron was detected. Nice shot. Nice shot. I shot it over the Orion. <laughs> Literally, I was like, oh, this Orion's going to save that fucking destroyer. No, it went, both shots went right over the top of it. Oh, Damn, fucking that Orion. Up. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's almost dead. I think one, they, probably these shots coming in. Ah, damn it. I was trying to steal it. All right, so all we have left is that aircraft carrier, and that aircraft carrier is going to get screwed by... John, I am at three kills. I'm at six wins. Nice. I have... Uh, Where am I at? I don't know where I'm at. You're in four. So oh, nice. With fucking... That's because I've done a Just crap like... ton of damage. Yeah. What's left? Oh, it's, a fucking it, it's just the aircraft carrier, the aircraft but we've got at least one cruiser going after, or two cruisers going after it, so it's done. Yeah. We're not going to get to it in time. Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna get to it fast enough. I mean, I'll take after C while I'm here, but I need to capture. John, don't... I need to. John, don't move. Uh, too late. You gotta fly on here. Oh, got you. 
Hey, 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 be careful. I got something for you. What the? The Japanese. Ah, oh, turn it up. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. That's a pretty ship you got there. Be a shame. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, yeah, that ho show's done. It's done. Yeah, there it is. Ho show's done, fo show. Take care now. Bye bye then. Oh, look who finished at the top. Nice. nice. No, I was about to say. Oh, I did. I thought you did. No, you did. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh, targeting or hull? Let's go hull. Uh, I've got another 4,900 stars before I get to the Dene. Uh, let's see. Oh, I want Bureau. Yeah, my Bureau stuff is done. Let's look at the campaigns. Oops, I left them daily. Oh, I like I got to cause 260 12,000 more no 11,200 more damage. I can do that. I'll work on my wicket some more. Das wicket. Tennessee is 33,000 stars away. Ah, you're the only 10 I see. Hey. hey. Never gets old. Yeah, like part of me wants to get to Iowa just so that I can say temper temper when I commit war crimes. <laughs> I'm really thinking about after I get the... After I finish the... Bureaus for the German and the Soviet uh, ships. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run all American because I want the North Carolina, because that's the only yeah. ship. That's the only ship in this whole game that I've actually been on. <laughs> all right. I've been. A, I'll say I've been, I've been on, on the, the Alabama. I've been well, on the Mississippi. is it in this? What uh, I don't Mississippi? Think so. Oh, no, um, it's not. It's. Uh... I think it's a um, premium. And then there's that... Or not, it's not a premium, but it's like one of the rotating premiums. Then there's that attack submarine that is the museum there in Portland that was used for the breach scenes in the Hunt for Red October. Been on that one. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been to the USS Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, the only the, Alabama, the only Alabama. ship in this game that I've been on is the North Carolina, so I really want that ship. Yeah, like that was what was it? We literally like that was our trip was to go see because we drove to Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. Um, yeah, you have yeah. to say Alabama. You have to yeah. say it with yep. an accent. Yep. Uh, but anyway, just to piss off any Alabama. But anyway, uh, um, now we drove to Mobile to see it. Oh, I got a fucking artwork for a t-shirt that came in, and it was a gem. And you can probably look it up on the internet, but Ooh. the gem's name uh, is called Swolebeal, Alabama. Yeah, speed up and pop smoke. There you go, so I can get in behind you. And then we can fuck up that destroyer. That destroyer has to go first. Oh! Look at that Freon that I just fucking leveled. At full health. I was say that we. Destroyer has to go first. The Wyoming? Yeah, no, the Clemson. Nice. Now we can fuck up the ferret. <laughs> well, oh yeah, yeah. He got ricked. 
Oh, he's done. All right, go ahead and concentrate on the battleship. <laughs> like, it's fine. I, I took care of the, the cruiser. Now we can fuck up the Wyoming. They all missed. Did they miss? Oh, thank you. Yeah, they all missed. Oh, are you kidding me? Wyoming v. Wyoming. Bring it on. Well, it's Wyoming v. Uh, Wix and, and whatever I'm in. Oh, random dude Done. took it. Yeah, oh, look, here's another Wyoming. Four, literally four of us are over here. And there you go. <laughs> I figured out how to use my torpedoes, though. There you go. <laughs> yeah, once you figure out the torpedoes, it's a whole different ball game. The good thing about torpedoes is, you know, they do a lot of damage, but you have to get close. Yeah. Another thing is this Wyoming. Alright, I'm going after B. Y'all fuck that Wyoming. There you go. I sank a battleship. <laughs> So I watched the Battleship movie. It's not yeah. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not great. Yeah, it's, it's not, not good, great. but it's not bad. Like when they when the 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 alien things shoot their things and they they look like the pegs. They, they, they look like the pegs. Yeah, I was like, all right, I can get them. The, the first time you see those is like floating through the air. I fucking. Yeah, I was like, I get it. I'm there. I got you. I like it. <laughs> and then, and then they're like, well, we don't have our satellites. What can we use? And then it was just like, oh, look at that, a fucking board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then they brought in like the old timers and shit. I, I mean, I liked it. I mean, I love like shitty sci-fi movies. They're some of my favorite movies, and I, I enjoyed it. It was. When you go in, like, with that expectation, like, okay, I'm not, I mean, I'm not sitting here fucking expecting, like, Shakespeare Austin, and, Austin, and yeah, Steven Spielberg, yeah, I'm not sitting here, like, expecting, like, Steven Spielberg Michael level Bay. movies, yeah, Michael Bay, no, not, none of that, like, let's just, let's go with it, <laughs> it was fun, I enjoyed it. It's like it's it was exactly what I expected it to be, and I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> you know, oh, it's a B movie, cool. You know, I had, and it had uh, Alex, uh, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it had uh, like an I mean, almost I... cast. <laughs> 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 yeah, I watched it just uh, maybe a month ago for the first time. And I'm like, okay, like I'm, I can get down with this. This was fun. Yeah. You know, it's... I fucking watched the, I watched that in theaters, and it was like, did it? I don't think it came out around the same time as the goddamn Transformers. Did it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it it definitely it it felt like the Transformers movie, and I'm okay with oh, that. That's right. No, the Transformers movie inspired Battleship. Oh, okay. They were like, oh, shit, what else can we make? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, then there was the one that was... Yeah, Transformers Transformers came out in 2000, 2007. And I think Battleship came out in, like, 2010. What, if, what about the movie... Uh... 12, 2012. Oh, guys, you're going to have to help me out. So, the movie where... I it, it had um I I think I think it had the Wolverine actor what's his name Hugh Jackman Hugh Jackman Hugh Jackman and it was the like robot boxing movie yeah, uh, yeah that 
was I'm another good one. I real like steel. that one. Yes, Real Steel. I loved that movie. Like, that str- movie good. yeah, I like. I never went to the beginning. I never went to the beginning, but, like, I watched, like, the, like, I missed the, like, first 20 minutes of the movie. But then, at, like, I was just, like, I was, like, oh, his son. And then it was, like, <laughs> oh, shit. He, he doesn't have custody of his son? Weird. It was it was really really good, like I was you know once again I I come back to like I like watching those you know B minus C plus movies like I love yeah. watching them and it kept popping up on I think it was Netflix it was like oh you would like to watch this movie and it kept popping up and popping up and I was like all right cool you know the girls were upstairs watching whatever they're watching. I'm going to sit downstairs and, like, eat dinner and watch this movie. And I was like, this was a good movie, <laughs> you know? Or, um, uh, the, oh, another one, uh, Guns Akimbo with uh, Daniel Radcliffe in it. I haven't seen that. It's yet. like, yeah, it, 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 it's, you guys would like it because it's stupid funny. Like, it's <laughs> that, like, this is stupid, why am I watching this? And you continue to watch it. Um, let's go to B. B. Yeah. Um, like, it's in the future where there's, like, a TV show where, you know, killing people. It's kind of like the Hunger Games, kind of. And he talks a bunch of shit online about how it's like, oh, I could totally do what they do. This is all fake bullshit. And the people see it. And they show up at his house like, oh, yeah, you think you can fucking do it? So they beat him up and knock him out and, like, surgically attach machine guns to his hands and mm-hmm. make him participate in the game. It's stupid, but you guys... Wait, would... is, that... is that the one with Daniel Radcliffe? Yes, yeah, it's got Daniel Radcliffe in it. Like, you okay, guys will well, like it. It's stupid, and I loved it. For it but I didn't yeah. Know, like, what yeah. Yeah, take, you know, when when, like... It, uh, Beth m- probably won't like it, and it's not Aowen appropriate. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not what? Uh, Aowen. It's his daughter. They're, her and Izzy are the same age. Um, you named your child Aowen? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I love it. You fucking nerd. <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, you, Leaf, you'll love it. No, it's a good name. It's a good name. Yeah. Or yeah, oh, Iron Eagle. That's old school. Um, you named your kid Iron Eagle. No, uh, but no, no, no. Take the time and watch Guns Akimbo. It's on Amazon Prime, and it's fucking stupid funny. Like I loved it. Like it's like, oh, do you want to kill an afternoon for no good reason? There you go. There, there's how you kill it. Uh, what was it? Uh, did you ever see Gamer with Gerald yeah. Butler? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another one of those. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. yeah. Death Race was good. Like, I like those movies. And, like, I catch a lot of shit for liking those movies. I'm like, but I like them. Right. Did you know Jason Statham is a silver medalist diver? Really? Olymp- Olympic diver. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, su- like I'm not surprised, because that, that would be totally in his wheelhouse. But... Okay. Oh, I took. I only took one. Fuck yeah. Uh oh, there's a fucking wakake. What? 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 Uh, Wikitaki. What was it? Some. Oh, that guy got fucked. Come on, give me the next yeah, shot. Give me the next shot. Give me the next shot. Those were all sit. Well, no, they weren't citadel shots, but he just oh. got fucked. Some fucking, uh, what is she? Some teddy streamer, uh, put like where if you message it in the chat, it'll make a sound effect happen on her end, and everyone can hear it or whatever. And she's like, if you do Wololo in the chat, uh, it'll happen on my end. And I got excited because I was thinking, fucking, uh, uh Age of Empires. And. 
SpongeBob reference. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> bye bye. God, I love just yeah, taking down fucking, about fucking battleships. I was literally about to peg it with fucking shot. Alright, that, that Booger McFarlane or whatever. I hate Booger McFarlane. <laughs> I have to say, that's who's next. Him and Charles Barkley. <laughs> why, 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 oh, somebody Charles fucked Charles. that guy. So, so, the first, what is it? The first time Charles Barkley got on to, like, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm big into college basketball. Like, yeah. I root for KU and stuff. But, like, the first time he was on there, um, they had these, like, touch screens or whatever. And it was clear, like... Like, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Or whatever. <laughs> and he could not operate the touch screen. And it wasn't, like, complicated at all. And he was just like, you know what, I don't know how to work this. I'm just gonna talk out of my ass for a minute. And I just always cringe when he's on. And everyone's just like, but he has funny commercials. And I'm like, he's a nice shot. God damn! He yeeted from downtown. <laughs> I yeeted all of them, and I like nine out of twelve hit. Oh, that was my only kill for that last one. God damn, the first place guy got four kills. I gotta keep going for it. I need a, probably four or five more games. <laughs> I finished my weekly boost. Did I? What do I have left on my campaigns? Let's see. I haven't used any of my boosts in so long. Granted, I don't have very many. Like, in the very beginning, you got so many containers and got so much shit. It's just like, use this boost and use this boost. Yeah. Yeah, my daily and my weekly is done. And I'm working on uh, Havoc 4, which is... Oh, I, I ha actually, I'm not working on Havoc 4. I got to get to level 3. So, I got to get a tier 3 ship to mess with. I love I love all of those like shitty oh movies God, and I love I want to say I love I love I'm mean, a huge fan of war movies I love war movies oh yeah um I watched Dunkirk a couple of months ago for the first time and was like holy crap this is a good movie um, so I I was literally waiting for you to, sh to stop talking so I could talk about Dunkirk. Oh, so <laughs> good. Like, like, I was so impressed. Oh, Jesus. I jumped from 9,000 green stars to 14,000. I need a few of those. <laughs> we could be playing yeah. what you guys want to play if I had that many green stars. Right. Uh, oh, sorry. Wham. So, I went and saw Dunkirk in IMAX. Oh, I'd have bet that was good. Because... Because I heard, like, the music was, like, just, like, the surround sound and the music. Like, they dumped a shit ton of money into sound. Yes. Is what yeah. I heard. Yeah, they did. And I was just like, I was like, well, if I'm going to go see a movie where they, like, a huge budget was put into sound, probably going to go watch it. Or an IMAX, you know? Uh, have you both seen it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. Okay. So, you know how... Uh, well, I, I heard you say Me? it, but I didn't know it was Leaf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the very opening scene, when the soldiers are walking down the street or whatever, and the flyers start dropping or whatever, when the sniper bullet rang out, in IMAX, that came from behind me. Oh, that would have been cool. I legitimately thought I was having a fucking Dark Knight Colorado situation. <laughs> <laughs> or Aurora, Aurora, Colorado. Aurora. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, like I ducked in my seat. Oh, that's and cool. I was like what? Like I ducked, looked around, and I was like, and then I saw 
on the screen, everyone's fucking running. And I was like, that scared the shit out of me. That's cool. And I was like, that moment, I was like, I'm sold on this movie. And absolutely loved Dunkirk. It was so fucking good. Yeah. Like, it was, it was really good, you know. And I watch... I watch Saving Private Ryan every chance I get. Ugh. Like I, oh, no. yep, yeah. I love that one. But my favorite, my favorite war movie is We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson. Really? Yeah, that's my favorite war movie. Like, I don't know. Like, We Were Soldiers. Like to me, like, like it was okay in my eye. It wasn't. It wasn't. We got. Ryan. We got to get that Destroyer first. Um, no, honestly, what what did it for me in that for that movie was the scene with the wives going and delivering, or when they were sending the um, uh, the letters the, letter. the letters via um, uh, a taxi and Western Union, like that was, oh, yeah. I mean that was I mean that's all they had back then. Oh my God, I just got fucking citadeled. All right, well, I guess I'll talk to you guys while you guys play. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah, I just I was full health went to zero, so I must have got Citadel. Um, but that scene with the wife and the tag, and like that whole like sequence, um, just it 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 hits it hits me. Oh, there's a torpedo. Oh, rip oh. leaf. <laughs> You know, um, that scene just gets me every time because it's such an awesome commentary on, on like, there was no... Like, getting, getting the letter. Well, no, there, was no, there was no system set up. Like, they never oh, yeah. expected that level of death early, that early in Vietnam. I mean, I mean, at all. I mean, they never expected it at all. And so there was, there was no notification system or whatnot that was already in place because you know this was and you know an advanced war you know for its time so right. you know there was just nothing and that whole scene just rips my guts out every time because you know i couldn't imagine being on either side of that sequence and i loved it like i love and then um What's the actor that plays the sergeant? Uh, Mel Gibson. No, 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 no. Mel, Mel Gibson played like the captain or or whatever. But it was oh, it, it was Mel his. Mel Gibson plays the uh, sergeant major. Yeah. No, I'm talking the. the you know, I'm talking he's about the first one in and the first. One yeah, yeah. That's out. what I, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking his his second, the old man. It's like, oh, you know, hey, you know, it's a great day. You're like, how the fuck do you know what kind of great day it is? Like that guy. The colonel. Oh, you know. Uh, the colonel. No, I thought he was the colonel. I thought Mel Gibson was the colonel, and this guy was the sergeant major. Oh yeah, you might be right. Yeah, yeah you know the old guy also, that's like a uh, Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson. That's who it is. It's like, you know, how do you know what a goddamn day it is? I was like, <laughs> like right. I love that guy. Like, you know, that's that's what I expect Leaf to be. <laughs> Can we, take, can we look at that uh, leaderboard? No, we're not going to look at it. Thanks for playing, though. Look at it. Well, no, nah, no, you're good. I, I, I have my days where, uh, I where I'm that guy. Oh, God, the fucking bottom. That sucks. <laughs> I'm playing yeah, I'm playing a ship I don't like, so shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I literally, like, I took that point. I killed everyone that was around <laughs> I was just like... Bring it on, you oh, little oh, 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 uh, um, Keith just put in letters from Iwo Jima. Like, that was a good movie. Yeah. It, yeah. That, one, that, one was that one's good. One. Um, but I love... Have um, you seen Band of Brothers? Granted, it's not a movie, but have you seen Band of Brothers? I have not completed oh. all of Band of Brothers. Oh. But I will Bro, say this. you got to see Band of Brothers. Bro. I will say this, and I'm excited for. Um, Tom Hanks and all of the producers and, like, all of the production team that was involved with Band of Brothers is right now working on a Vietnam Band of Brothers. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I'm really excited for I'm that. I'm sure it will be <clears throat> just as good. Oh, yeah, it'll be uh, so good. Sorry, I was looking at 
um, but I could potentially buy myself too. Uh, uh, Apple TV specific. Plus, watch Greyhound. I don't have Apple TV because you know I live in the real world where PC and Android is the best ever, and I'm not a an Apple whore like some people in the chat. <laughs> so, love you, Keith. Long time. <laughs> They did like the Pacific, mm. and it just it wasn't as good. Yeah. Like Band of Brothers was fucking. It's you have to watch it, John. I know I need to. Yeah. I, I I know I need to. Like you need to, you need to like, dedicate like a day to watch it. Yeah, I need and I need to start watching Band of Brothers. The approved mo- oh yeah, I totally yeah, I totally get that. Watch just have your guts ripped out every. Yeah, day. I like I know it's fucking fantastic. I've just never... I hadn't watched it. Uh, um, so, so, we're talking war movies. I do have an interesting fact about one war movie. Alright, shoot. We discussed. Shoot. Uh, so, Saving Private Ryan. Mm-hmm. The reason why Matt Damon was casted as um, Private Ryan was because he was a nobody to Steven Spielberg. Like, he was... Like, when they were filming it, he was a fucking nobody. Well, that, that whole film was full of nobodies. Like, yeah, Vin Diesel. Off, Vin Diesel. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, if you go back and watch it, there are so many fucking, like, quick, like, Paul Giamatti's in yeah. it. Yeah. A minute. Uh, Brian Cranston's in it. Yeah. Oh, they, Brian Cranston, like, that's the sniper, right? No, he's the general. The, no, yeah. Yeah, the no. I was thinking that... He's in a fucking arm. Uh, the, the, the sniper. Like, he's one of my favorite... Like, he does a terrible, like, southern accent, but he's one of my favorite actors. Like, he's from... Like, he's in, like, Universal Soldier with, uh... Uh... uh Val Kilmer. Greyhound... Uh, Greyhound is a... Uh, Greyhound is a Tom Hanks movie about a convoy being hunted by the North... In the North Atlantic by a pack of Nazi subs. Oh, yeah. yeah, Hanks plays an escort fleet commander... Oh, uh, um, uh, 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 was it U five seven one? Didn't that have um, Lee, was it Liam Neeson in it? Yeah, uh, I think so. Like, but I love those movies, like the World War Two movies, Vietnam movies. Um, Hamburger Hill. I watched that when I was a kid, and I shouldn't have. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you know. Too. So, but anyway. <laughs> Was because he was like not found right. yet, like because uh, they wanted Private Ryan to be like they didn't want like this huge character to be Private Ryan, and you know we're gonna go save Matt Damon, but it like literally like a couple months before the movie dropped, uh, they won the Oscar. Matt yeah. Matt Damon, uh, Ben uh, Ben Affleck. I love all of the... I mean, I don't want to say I love because it kind of sounds fucked up. But, like, the stories of when they were doing uh, Saving Private Ryan with, like, they brought in, uh, you know, World War II veterans to, to like, screen the movie. And they're like, ah, oh, this is, like, way too realistic. We don't like it. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I'm sorry that you didn't like it because that's fucked up. But that also means that it is as accurate as possible. Yep. And that's right. well, that's good slash bad. See, there were there were uh, like yeah, there were soldiers who legitimately oh, had like PTSD episodes in front of me, away from me. In and whatever death. else. But there were like actual soldiers who were like you guys did oh, an I'm amazing dead. job. Yeah. You guys did an amazing job showing what we what we went through. Oh, full metal jacket. I mean, you can't beat that movie. For so many different reasons, because it's an excellent commentary on Vietnam. Uh, you know, it, it's just yeah. I, I love I love those movies. Well, I mean, it's a lot like what what Stripes, where it's like two movies broken up into like basically one movie, because you could take you know while they're in basic, you know, and then when they're in Vietnam, it's two very distinct different movies. It's a lot like Stripes. Um, Apocalypse Now. Right. I love the stem of napalm in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You know? 
it's Fuck just it. there's a movie that I wanted to watch, but like someone ruined the ending for me. It's all about this guy. Um, I forget what it's called, but he's going through basic training. He's a British soldier, and British soldier. Uh, he's a British soldier, and like he falls in love with this girl. They're getting him like he's going through training and all of this stuff, and um, it ends when he lands on. Uh, like the movie ends when he lands on Normandy Beach. Mm. I don't know that one. Yeah, I, was saying, yeah. I don't recognize that one. I'm pro I'm pro I've it's, probably seen it, but it's more of it's more of like a romantic, like rom not a I don't it's more of a romance movie, but it's based around that. No. But but yeah, like I, I was like, you know what? That actually sounds kind of interesting because like they go into details of like oh. how they trained the soldiers and stuff like that, and I was like, you know, that's interesting. And, like, oh yeah, this happens at the end, and I was just like, cool, thanks. <laughs> I got another one for you that I that I will watch religiously for no good reason, just because I love all of the actors that are in it. Black Hawk Down. I, I, I will watch it every chance I get because it's got Orlando Bloom, it's got um it's got the it's got the same sergeant from Saving Private Ryan and, yeah. and like it's just that that long list of like like after you like throw out Orlando Bloom it's like all of the B list actors that you really like but you don't know their names. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, it's it's a fun movie to watch and it's Well there's uh how do they like cup out the car? Fuck like, me. Anyway, um uh, Jeremy Piven's in it. Uh he was, he was on a uh, is he the one that gets deafened? Uh, on Entourage. He, oh, he was one no. of the pilots. Oh. Um, but, you know, I, I love... I, you know, I, know I, I take that back. I know exactly who you're talking about. Like, I love... I love that story because it tells an, a really cool narrative of that era of time in the early 90s. You know, and it was kind of like late stage western imperialism and <clears throat> I liked it it's a lot of fun but yeah what is it? I, I mean I grew up watching uh, uh, what the fuck do you call him like I grew up watching John Wayne and yeah. uh, Clint, East, Clint Eastwood war movies right. and those war movies are good but they're definitely dated for their their intended audience. The right. you know late Gen X, early millennial, millennials like the three of us are, like we don't really ascribe to those movies, you know. But I mean, one of the like one of my favorites though is Clint Eastwood's um, Hogan's Heroes. Hogan's Heroes. Well, that was the show. Was that a movie? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. What the? F now, of course, now I'm blanking on it. It's where they're going to rob a bank in the middle of World War Two. Uh, I wait. I will patiently wait for Keith to be like, "Oh, it's this movie." Speaking of things, war crimes. But yeah, it's. I don't know if I can hit this Kelly's heroes. It's Kelly. Oh, Kelly's heroes. Oh, I got you. But um, I liked um, like I. Oh God damn! Who's fucking him up? Man. God damn! Here I will yeah, so finish him off. Of full, the two of us fired full Wyoming shots on him. Like his went first, then my. Oh, this guy. Watch out, somebody. I'll steal it. <laughs> Thanks, uh, guys. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, I wasn't firing all of them. I was firing a couple here and there. Just 
but... So... Yeah, I'm going after that Orion. So yeah, I was that's close. my next target. Kelly's Heroes. Kelly's Heroes. And, yeah, okay, Keith, yeah, yeah, Keith just posted, yeah. Kelly's Heroes. Keith, you've got so, to get your shit together so you can join us. Uh, Red Tails? Oh, I haven't watched that yet. I've that's seen another show. Red Tails and, like, I watched, like, the back end of it, and it's not bad. From what I watched. Uh, what's, like, oh, yeah. But no, in Kelly's oh. Heroes, the fucking, uh, I forget the name of the TV show, but it was like, uh, the, it's like from the 70s, where it was like, those were the days. I'm going uh, all out for this guy. Oh, did I get my torpedoes off? I did get two uh, of my torpedoes off, like, uh, though they're good for sure. Oh, got him! Uh, <laughs> I'll trade yeah, with him. Um, <laughs> They're playing on the piano, and it's just like, those were the days. Well, yeah, you're... And he's like, and yeah. he's racist. No, you're, um... Oh, shit. You're talking, name? like, All in the Family. I think so. Yeah. Oh, Archie! Well, the, so the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, so, Archie... Archie Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's a general and like he hears about it through the grapevine and he's just like being super lazy and he's just like you know what I'm inspired by these boys like look, we gotta fucking get to them and help them out and they're just like hey this general's like on his way and they're like shit we gotta fucking hurry up so we can rob this bank of German gold <laughs> Oh, like Archie! Shows up and gives them, yeah, he shows up and gives them, like, fucking war medals. And he's so proud of them. They're like, thanks. Yeah, we just didn't rob a thing of gold. Oh, that's and funny. like, uh, have you seen the Hunger Games? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The the president, the old guy? Uh, 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 uh Donald Sutherland. Yeah, he's in it. He plays a tank commander. Who no, nicknamed Bulldog? Who is just like this drunken idiot? It's he fucking amazing. He plays the best bad guy, I think, out of all all actors. He's one yeah, of the he's one of the he best does. bad guys. If you, if you want like a super obscure Donald Sutherland bad guy movie, uh, Backdraft with um, yes, that's another William ba William Baldwin, one of the you know, the other Baldwin brothers. Um, oh, the other ball yeah, one. it's like like. To be you, fair, there's literally four of them. Yeah, as a you know fireman, firefighter, that type of stuff. I love Backdraft because it's so badly produced, but it's got Donald Sutherland in it. Donald Sutherland in it, so it's like, yeah, I will let all of their indiscretions slide. Because <laughs> you know? he does, yeah. he plays bad guys so good, and. Uh, but yeah, oh, excellent sorry. movie. Uh, Donald Sutherland plays uh, Sergeant Oddball. Yeah, and his son Kiefer Sutherland Damn. is the one that did Twenty Four and. Shit up out there. <clears throat> oh yeah, Don Rickles is in it. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kurt Russell. Backdraft is really, really good. As long as you're not like me and like super into the fire stuff, you know, storyline, excellent movie. Practical, you know, stuff that happens with fire, not so much. <laughs> but I will say, one of my dream jobs in my field, I would love to be a, um, uh, uh, uh what's it called? A, um, where you re, we well, yeah, that too. Um, where well, you go in and you like recreate, you know, fire scenes and, and like like a fire inspector that type of stuff. Not a fire marshal, but you know the the next level. Like I I find fire fascinating and stuff. So I would love to 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 do that. Um,
Oh, the Dirty Dozen, old school. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Um, what is it? Um, the new... Oh, wait, guys, how can we forget fucking Pearl Harbor? <laughs> oh, with Ben Affleck, and it was more of a love yeah. story than it was a fucking yeah, war movie? I'm, Piss I'm... off. Fucking Phoenix out there fucking my shit up. Don't worry, I'll raise your kid as my own. Yeah, fuck Thanks all that noise. Being crucified. Yeah, fuck all that noise. Um, oh, shit. I was about to say, we're losing, but we just evened it up. Yeah, so not for long. Yeah, now that I shut up. You got that cruiser in front of you. Which has missed all of his shots there. Yeah. Fuck that Phoenix uh, up. Uh, Fuck him up. I was, uh... Oh, get fucked! Peace. Alright, I'm gonna come around the island from the back side over here. Yeah, yeah, it's down. just one battleship. Back, She's full up, but... Uh, your Mitsubishi uh, guy that's in front of you is not going to survive his first uh, contact with the uh, Corvée. He's done. I mean, it's full. It's a full health Corvée. Yeah, the, the yeah. Mitsubishi has one... Uh, we're talking like one-eighth left. Oh, oh rip. All right, boys, finish him up. You got this. Uh, oh yeah, De Niro was the arson inspector. Like that, like that movie was so good. Like the, the like where that movie went off the rails is where they were like right there at the end, and they ran the warehouse, and we uh, bi right Billy Baldwin pulls the fire extinguisher off the wall and like smacks the valve off of it and throws it into the fire. That bottle is under 200 PSI of pressure. If Homeboy would have knocked the valve off of that, it would have hit him like literal ton of bricks. It would have broken ribs if he would have done that in real life. I mean, yeah, it was cinematic as fuck. But in all actuality, yeah, that's not a thing. But, yeah, Backdraft was good. Like, and then there was the whole sex scene on top of the, uh, the fire engine, which as a fire nerd, I'm like, yeah, I'm there. Let's do it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're speaking of movies and we're kind of getting off of the war ones, guess what turned 25 years today? 25 okay. years. All right. So this is 23. So this would have come out in 2007. Ooh, you got me. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're an idiot. Am I? It's 2022. 2022? 2022. And you said turn... 25. You said 2007. It's 1997. Oh, okay. Oops. Okay. What came out in 1997? Fuck you, Davo. Sit down. <laughs> I give you a, a clue. Big battle. Oh, uh, a fifth element. Oh my God! Have you followed the the stories on him, on on Bruce yeah. Willis, and and he's yeah. got some he's yeah he's got some mental condition that is causing him to have like lose motor functions and whatnot. Yeah, that's yeah. that. He can't, he can't remember lines. Yeah, that hurts so deeply because. Well, that's why I've been watching freaking Die Hard and everything. Oh, you mean the Christmas movie Die Hard? Yes. Yes, of course. Did you, you... I got into an argument with a teacher. He was just like, I hate when people say it's a Christmas movie. And literally, oh, yeah. I, was a room, I was a room away, and I fucking walked in, and I go, what fucking blasphemy am I hearing about Die Hard not being a Christmas oh, movie? Oh, I watched Backdraft 2. It's bad. <laughs> like, we don't talk about it. It's so bad. Um... Talk about Bruno. Don't... Yo, it's so bad. 
Oh, he's gonna fucking be. Oh yeah, he was gonna beach himself if you didn't put him down. Um. But yo, uh, Die Hard. I mean, I just feel bad because I love all Bruce Willis movies. Oh, you know, circling it back to war movies, Tears of the Sun. Yeah. Oh, it was good. Know, yeah. yeah, it was good. Like, I don't think I've heard of that. Yeah, it's a Bruce Willis oh, uh, no, Vietnam movie. That's a, no, it's not a Vietnam movie. It's a uh, oh, no, wait. movie about the human, uh, the, the war tribes in Africa. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, okay, I've seen the poster, but I've never seen the movie. Yeah, that was back in the mid '90s, I think, just before, or probably '95, '96. Yeah, it was good. I liked it, but I mean, I watch, I watch anything Bruce Willis because I love him. I, you know, I love he was great in red. He, well, All yeah. Well, Bruce Bruce yeah. Willis plays a fantastic like comedic role. He is incredibly funny. What movie? Uh, the what Nigerian movie? government has fallen, and the country is on the verge of civil war. Lieutenant. Yeah. A.K. Waters, Bruce Willis, has been assigned to lead a team of soldiers into Nigerian jungle to rescue Dr. Lena Kendricks, whatever the, her name is. When Waters and his team is yeah, it's... Is locate the Kendricks, she tells them that she won't leave her helpless patients to be slaughtered by rebels and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's a good one. Yeah. What's the one where he's a uh, doctor and his uh, daughter gets, his wife gets killed? In the house, and so he becomes like his own vigilante in a sense. In, in the oh, town, it, he remade. Uh, it was a, a remake of because uh, uh, they did those movies in like the eighties. Yeah, you got me on that one. You got me on no, that no, one. No, this one's a little more recent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a remake. Oh, okay. Uh, Well, uh, Patton, MacArthur, like that's old school. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I just I love Bruce Willis. Death Wish. Death De Wish. Yeah, oh yeah, De no, yeah. I have seen that. I have seen that. That was a yeah, good Death movie. Wish. Uh, Death. That's a remake of the Death Wish movies. Okay. I, I love. Some of my favorite Bruce okay. Willis was in. Um, uh, first off, I love in the the episodes of Friends, where he played like the sig significant other of uh, Jennifer Aniston for like a very brief period of time. No, he was the oh, he was the father was of the dad. The, yeah, he, he was, was the, the dad, dad of of, of oh, Ross's girlfriend. I love those. Yeah. But and, he was also dating Jennifer. Aniston. Yeah, yeah, I like, fucking was, love that. Uh, so uh, do you know how he got into that? No, like I, I know he was a fan so, and he wanted into it. No, uh, when him and Matthew Perry uh, made the whole nine yards, uh, Matthew Perry made a bet with him that if uh, it made over, because they were like they knew going in it wasn't going to make a lot of money, and Matthew Perry was like, you know what, I bet it will, and, there, and Bruce was like, okay. And so they were like, if it makes, you know, whatever Get amount fucked. of money, you have to come on to Friends uh, for X amount of episodes. Yeah, he, he's, he's like, just awesome. so funny. And so that's why he was did it. Yeah, he, he's, he's, uh, I, I mean, I just, I love all the things that he does because he is incredibly funny and... Uh, yeah, it just, yeah, it, it, it breaks my heart, uh, the thought of he's having all these health issues. Like, it, Come on, somebody get him before I get him. Thank you. Oh, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson in uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance? Yeah. Yes. 
I mean, I yeah. Yeah, I mean, now granted, you know, it's not it's not the Christmas movie that has uh uh what's his face? Uh um Oh my god. Heather's going to Yeah, Heather's going to kick my ass. But you know that was his first major role? Like really? Yeah. Uh um uh what's his face? Um Oh my god, I'm blanking on it. I can see him. Professor Snape. He's dead. Yeah. Um Yeah. He was he was a ballet dancer Hans, before that. Hans Gruber. Yeah, Hans Gruber. He was a ballet dancer before, before. Uh, um, Al, uh, Alan Rickman. Oh, thank Alan you, Keith. Rickman. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. Hilariously, I was literally thinking of the fucking uh, Family Guy skin where he fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, like, Alan. Alan Rickman. This is Alan. Alan Rickman. Uh, the the um. Where he's leaving the voicemail? Yeah, voicemail. <laughs> Hello, Alan Rickman. This is Alan Rickman. Yeah. Don't forget the turnip, Alan Rickman. Yeah, it's... Alan. Yeah, he's incredibly funny. And... Yeah. <laughs> Keith is like, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman! <laughs> Oh, you got to get your shit set up, uh, Keith, so you can, like, hang, at least hang out with us. I mean, Jesus Christ, just download the fucking... Does, if, does he have an Xbox account? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I snuck that shot in. I was like, Keith, all you gotta do is make an Xbox account, download the, the, the app on your phone, and then you can join parties. And talk on your phone. Uh, have you seen the clip from Jimmy Fallon where he, or he and Benedict Cumberbatch do all the uh, the Rickman off? Yeah, I've seen that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but well, where's the negative? He needs support. He's way he's over. <laughs> <Did I? laughs> All right, if you're gonna go, if, if you're gonna go, Alan Rickman, I got one better for you, and that's just Tim Curry in general. Oh. Yeah, Tim Curry, Clue. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror, yes. Clue, amazing. Have you been to a Rocky Horror? Oh. Show? Oh, I, I have been to so Where many. They did the whole, like, yes, the riff thing. track, yeah. and I've had, yeah. I've had. Uh, Water guns and uh, butter toast thrown at me, and yeah. Oh, he's gonna cut that thing in half. Oh, I can't. I'm yeah, sixteen clicks out. I can't get there. Yeah. Same. Somebody needs to fuck that up. Oh, I'm fucking. It up well, more. I'm taking. I'm honestly just taking the point as well. Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's just take the point. I'm gonna. I'm gonna full stop uh, it. <laughs> It'd be like. This is mine. So mine, mine. I don't know why uh, my computer ain't shit. When when I was eighteen, a young boy. And when I was a young boy, my father, no, my girlfriend, and she took me to a um, Rocky Horror show, and before we went in, I remember her grabbing me by the shirt, and going, "Whatever you do." Don't say this is your first time. Just pretend <laughs> no, that yeah. Just go away. Yeah, I just remember her like grabbing me by like the shirt. Like, don't say this is your first time. And yeah, because they do something to newbies. And I went in, and she had like I literally wore a dog collar, and she had me on a leash. Um, <laughs> and then the things that happened after the movie was over is not appropriate for Twitch streams. But, um, yeah. <laughs> they went and got an Alabama hot pocket at McDonald's. Well, it was a thing. All right. Well, I'm off for a little while. I might be on later. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to, well, I'm going to keep playing for about another hour, and then I'm going to bed. Right. Shout out That's to the good. stream. I hope everybody's been having a good time. Yep. Shout out. Out. Oh, man out. Peace out. A town down. Have a good night.
night, guys. Good night, Leaf. Love you. Love you too, bro. Again, thank you for the uh, jersey. No, thank you for the jersey. I appreciate you. All right, while we are... Wait, you got him a jersey? I did. He got me an uh, Oregon Ducks jersey, and I got him uh, a Virginia Tech jersey signed during the spring game. I get you. Nichelle, Nichols, Indigo, going to uh, the... Oh, fuck say, that. Like, nope. Look at you, John. You're passing on the jerseys. Because I got you the... Oh, the Antonio Brown. Brown? Yeah. I got him worthy jerseys. <laughs> I'm gonna go use. Jersey. I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, the chat is all mine, and I don't have it open to answer. read what you're saying. <laughs> just talk like the most insane shit on John. Just, just make shit up. It'll be fantastic. Uh, yeah, Keith. Yes, you can. You can get a, you can get a uh, Xbox Live account without having an Xbox. Hopefully, the chat did what I told them to do. What did you tell them to do? Just talk shit on the internet. Uh, um, no. They failed me. That's because you suck. I mean, not wrong. <laughs> okay, so uh, you need the two again. Yeah, for I need another hundred XP, and then I can go up to the the Dene. Dene. Dene, which is the tier three. But you will have to pay for an Xbox account. Skeleton Walk Forty Two. Uh, let me finish this and I'll see if I can, like, I don't know if, I don't know, we'll, we'll look. I guess we're going to see, kinda. Huh. Oh, poor kid. There was a high school basketball game where this kid's entire team fouled out. Oh, that's, that sucks. Yeah, that so games. it was literally 5v1. Find someone, search or add, uh, S, K, E, L, E. Oh, there he is, Skeleton. I, I, yeah, I've already added you as a friend. Invite to party. So I read, I read something fucking stupid. Uh, Let's so see if you can schedule, get that invite. So the schedule has come out for the what is it? Or they're processing the schedule for the NFL. Okay. The Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are traveling to zero other time zones. Really? Yeah. All of their games are going to be in the East. Well, that sounds chintzy as fuck. Right? Uh, yeah, Lee, uh, Keith, I sent an invite to Skeleton Walk. So we'll see if, you know, you might be able to join. Like, I don't... 
I don't I don't know. Well say if he's if he has you as a friend, then he should be able to join. Because I'm hitting on one. But you're not, so Diddy walk, diddy walk in my shoes. Who so you sh like who are you shooting at? Me? Uh, the, the Kaiser. Alright, I'll go after the I'm Kaiser. Just, I'm, I'm just dicking around because everywhere else is... Oh, well my guns are facing the wrong way. And I do now have like a ship to my left. Which Alright, I'm going to torpedo the Kaiser now. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm about to take six torpedoes. <laughs> I just ate them all. I just thought I'd dodge torpedoes. Oh, Skeleton Walk has added you as a friend. Could uh, he get the account? I would. <clears throat> Keith is an awesome uh, dude. Like he's I a. I don't know if he's a gold membership to join parties. Or like I don't, membership. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, Keith is a good dude. I, yeah, you'll definitely like him. He's, he's old school nerd. Forces, right? uh, yeah, yeah, he's Air Force. Whenever I do conventions and stuff, I work God. for him. <clears throat> I have dodged at minimum 20 fucking torpedoes. I'm going to send him another gamer tag. Or a gamer um, thing. Gamer uh, party. Invite, thank you. Party invite. Q R S. Yeah, screw this. I'm going after the fucking. What do you call it? <laughs> you don't work for me. You work with me. Yeah, but I've you know you're your boss man. Fuck that guy up. Yeah, so, yeah, I had a customer tell me I was in charge. I was like, motherfucker, I started, like, this was, like, last week. He's like, yeah, you're the man in charge. I was like, motherfucker, I've been here less less than two weeks. I ain't shit. <laughs> nah, nah, like, no, Keith, Keith is always boss man. I will always be second fiddle. And I love it. I love what I do. I love, I love doing stuff. Uh, you know, for the, uh, oh, excuse me, like, all the, the nerd music and doing all the stuff, like, I just fucking eat it up. I'm all about it. I've never been to a con. Oh, maybe one day you can come out our way and do conventions, because we do some, have some awesome conventions. Especially, uh, especially Mars Con in, like, January or March or something. Like, they're changing their dates. Well, like, because Kansas City has one. It's called Planet Comic Con. Mm. And it was in April. And I was, like, every time it comes around, I'm always broke as fuck. Because, like, there was one year where Stan Lee was going to be there. Oh. And I was like... I gotta meet Sam. Yeah, I, I never and, got that. I never got I that a privilege. Fucking, yeah, and then I was like, oh, wait, let me look at my fucking bank account. Womp womp. Yeah, I never got that privilege. Uh, 
Oh, that aircraft carrier is getting fucked. Yeah, it is. I still haven't heard back from them yet. They're still going to an ML Key weekend on January, but it's been moved to Virginia Beach. Like, I'll go to Virginia Beach. Like, I'm cool with oh, it. Oh, what was it? I had a... Uh, what was it? After the uh, Top Gun conversation mm -hmm. that we had the other night, Right. I joined uh, Devin and Brandon's party, and he's just like... And they were like, Devin, or they were like, David, we have some uh, questions for you. I was like, okay. They're like, did John t happen after I left? This is Brandon. He's like, after I left, did uh, did John happen to talk about uh, making us go down to Virginia Beach to watch Top Gun? And I was like, uh, I cannot confirm it. Or I didn't that say happened. making. I was like, Vince offered for us to go, and if you want to go, we yeah. can go. Hey, there's the the Danae. How do I check my last matches? Because I unlock shit. Now I got to build up to the uh, emerald. Fill you walk. Fill you walk. Let's see what do I need? Years. Fucking twenty four thousand stars. You like that heated blanket, I know you do. Yeah. Oh, I would go. Go back down to Charleston? I love that area. Except in the summertime where it's hot as balls and no one can explain to me why. In the summer. Dude, it's been cool, like, for the past several weeks. Like, the highest maybe like seventy-seven here, and then today was eighty-nine, and I was just like, ugh. I was like, we just fucking what out of left field? Uh, now. So you're doing the Danae or whatever it is? Yeah, I'm now on that uh, tier three. Three. So I, I need to get that up uh, after the Danae is the Emerald, and I can stick that in the um, the Bureau missions, and I'm good. Uh, everything good to go until the segment is completed. Two, three, four, five, six cannons and four torpedoes. I'm going straight to A. John. Yes, sir. How does a monkey cook its toast? I don't know. How does a monkey cook its toast? Under a gorilla. <sighs> Send me that one and like type that up or like text it to me so I can tell Izzy. Because Izzy will be really upset with me and I love it. Like, dad jokes with Izzy is the best. Uh. 
Where did I get the Reddit post that sent you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking classic. Love it. Old school. The fuck is shooting at me? Fuck you, bro. What is it? Well, because it reminded me of... Who the fuck is shooting at me from all the way over there? It reminded me of... Uh, did you have, like, HBO growing up? Uh, growing up? No, sir. Okay. Well, because, like... I don't know if you ever got a chance to watch it, but, like, real sex or whatever. Oh, I... Yeah. Not to say I didn't have it. I remember Scramble Porn. Yeah, yeah, scramble porn, man. That was where it was at. Yeah, so... Uh, when I saw that video, because they talked about, like, uh, bloopers and, like, shit that accidentally happens on set, and they were just like, yeah, oh, I'm dead. You keep dying the first time you use these ships. Yeah, well. <laughs> God damn it. I'm about to destroy this. Like, I've had two kills. But no, like, I have one distinct memory where, uh, oh my god, that ship got wrecked, it had full health. Uh, anyway, I was in high school, and, um, I was in FFA, and we went to state convention, and we were all, like, I think there was there was four to us to a room, and we got there on like uh, I forget what day it was, but like one of the days that we were there, it was the night that uh, Real Sex came on, and uh -huh. we just got back from convention, and we were they were like, hey, let's see what's on TV. It's like okay, and then I was like, oh shit, it's Thursday. I think it was Thursday night. And I was like, oh shit, it's Thursday night. HBO's gonna have something on. And they're like, what's it gonna have on? I was like, oh, you know, but, but like I knew, and I was just like, I don't know, some movie. And we switched to it, and this guy who was actually like my second cousin, right? He was very, very sheltered. And everyone was just like, dude, what the fuck? And I was just like, yeah, this is like pseudo porn. And like he was just staring at the TV. Like, he did, like, was trying to process everything he was looking at. It was so fucking funny. And, like, I turned it away and he kind of, like, had a, like, reflex of, like, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> like, he was just fucking mesmerized. It was so funny. Oh, get fucked, funny. Duke. Yeah, I'd say. All but, like, two of those shells hit. I sent you an invite, uh, uh, Keith. We'll see if you can get it. But like Keith should be, like, Keith, try, if you can't accept the invite, try going to John's profile and finding, uh, like, party and join party. Yeah, if you can try to join party on my, on my gamer tag. Oh, he's done. Get fucked. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> battleship left. Yeah, one battleship left. Uh, With he's like no health. Yeah, no. Yeah, no health. What is he shooting at? Oh, he's shooting at a New York that's gonna fuck him up. Oh, and he did. <laughs> yeah. I had so many kills stolen. I got like no points just because like every time I went to shoot at somebody they died. I was just like, God damn it. I'm gonna play one more and then I'm gonna call it a night. I'll have to get with Keith and get that worked out where he can yeah. Yeah, because I don't know I don't know if you can talk with people on a silver account. 
I don't know. Because I know they I've don't never. Technically I... Do... I know they technically don't do cult gold and silver anymore. But I don't know if communication was. Yeah. I was like, I've never, I've never had a silver account, so I don't know. Uh, I usually had a silver account whenever I just forgot to renew it. Oh, fair enough, fair I enough. Like, ah, shit, I gotta go get a fucking thing. Oh, uh, I guess we will rush B. Jesus Christ. Nice work. That's how it's done. General quarters. General quarters. Nah. What you did there, I see it. Oh, I, yeah, nowhere near enough. Get shots God, off. You can, yeah, you definitely did some fucking meth. Jesus Christ. 35 looking like you're 50? Eh. I got 30 knots. 30 knots is a cruiser, so fuck you. <laughs> As hey, one, there's an one, emerald. One has the audacity to hit me with its fucking incinerator rounds. Tokyo drifted. Thank God. He did a fucking 180. Citadel? Oh, you fucking whore. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. So, alright. Alright, this will be where I end it for the night. <clears throat> oh. Did you die? Oh, yeah, I took five torpedoes. Oof. Yeah, big oof. Dirty fucking dogs. Dirty, 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 dirty dogs. I mean, if I can scissor by three. <laughs> fucking scissor. Three battleships. Because fuck them, that's why. Oh, thank God. Did you see how many torpedoes hit me that were friendly? Uh, no, but I can look. It was like eight. Alright, we're going to follow Davo to victory. He's got a Konig off to his port. Yeah, it could be that it's because you only have a silver, you need a gold or a premium account at best. Like, a gold account. 
which is either ten or fifteen dollars a month. Oh, somebody's about to eat. Oh, he ate none. All right. Oh, hard to port, man. Hard to port. Hard to port. Okay. Or starboard. A starboard. Port left. Uh, port is to the left. Uh, the starboard will work because I put the Congo down. Yeah. Rip. Ah, Jesus. Yep. And this Bowie. is, yeah. This is Victoria. where, yeah, Victory. I'm going to return to port. And I'm I'm going to call it a night because I have to be at work early in the morning because well, fuck me, that's why. Same. Yeah, right. But uh I I think I'll be on in time for uh uh Tuesday Tie Fighter. I hope so. So Devo. Tuesday Tafara. Tuesday Tafara. Thank you for hanging out. Of course. Yeah, it was a good stream. So, uh, thank you, sir. Always fun. Yeah. Uh, peace out. Have... A-Town Down. A-Town Down. <laughs>